Hello, gentlemen and ladies, Crusader family, veterans, and honored guests. Thank you for being part of our Veterans Day celebration. Special thanks to Ms. Polly Seguin and her students for their technical help and support. Thanks to Mr. Robert Gola for printing our programs. And special recognition to Mr. Jay Grau and his students for their yearly efforts to celebrate our veterans. Veterans Day programs are very special. These programs celebrate the commitment and sacrifices of those who have served. These programs are also a time of quiet reverence and recognition of those men and women who gave their life in defense of your country, your way of life, in defense of your freedom. Since 1914, 625,000 of our military men and women have died in defense of your country, your way of life, in defense of your freedom. 1,174,963 of our military men and women have been wounded. So, together, we celebrate and honor and show our respect for these amazing men and women, those who have served and those who are actively serving. At this time, Brady, our band chaplain, will offer a Veterans Day prayer. Please stand. Dear Lord, today we honor our veterans, worthy men and women who gave their best when they were called upon to serve and protect our country. We pray that you will bless them, Lord, for their unselfish service and the continual struggle to preserve our freedoms, our safety, and our country's heritage for all of us. Bless them abundantly for the hardships they face, for the sacrifices they made, for their many different contributions. To America's victories over tyranny and oppression. We respect them. We thank them. We honor them. We are proud of them. We pray that you will watch over these special people and bless them and their families with peace and happiness. And finally, we pray that you will protect them and hold our active duty military in the palm of your hand. Let them know that they are in our thoughts and prayers and let them feel the peace and love of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.
It was originally called Armistice Day. It fell on November 11th because that is the anniversary of the signing of the Armistice that ended World War I. However, in 1954, the holiday was changed to Veterans Day in order to account for all veterans in all wars. We celebrate and honor America's veterans for their patriotism, love of country, and willingness to serve and sacrifice for the common good. <coughs> The flag of the United States consists of 13 equal horizontal stripes of red alternating with white, with a blue rectangle in the canton bearing 50 small white five-point stars. The 50 stars on the flag represent the 50 states. The 13 stripes represent the 13 original columns. The red represents hardiness and valor. White symbolizes purity and innocence. And blue denotes vigilance perseverance, and justice. Nicknames for the flag include the Stars and Stripes, Old Glory, and the Star Spangled Banner. It is proper to stand for the presentation of the colors. The colors are presented today by Eagle Scout Aaron Iyer and Life Scout T.J. Mueller. Please stand for the presentation of the colors and remain standing for the pledge of allegiance.
Jack was like my big brother, a man of great character. What a great role model he has been for me and many others. And yes, we played music together. Uh, Jack currently helps uh, lead a rock band known as Most Wanted, made up of current and recently retired police officers from the greater Cincinnati area. Their message is say no to drugs. We'd love to have him here sometime in San Andrew, Jack. For his military service and for 40 years in law enforcement, please stand up, students, and show Chief Foy your appreciation. Uh, 
uh, in your program. And I think it's really pretty telling of what all of our military does during boot camp and during your training. If you want, you can read this with us. Are you ready? I am a United States sailor. I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States of America, and I will obey the orders of those appointed over me. I represent the fighting spirit of the Navy and those who have gone before me to defend freedom and democracy around the world. I proudly serve my country's Navy combat team with honor, courage, and commitment. I am committed to excellence and the fair treatment of all. Uh, this is my brother, Mr. Gunkel, here. Yes, he is. Hello. We are very uh, fortunate again this year to have in attendance today Mr. Christopher Gunkel, or should I say Petty Officer Second Class Gunkel. Petty Officer, stand up and be recognized. Petty Officer Gunkel served in the Navy from 1981 to 1985. He served aboard the USS Gallery and the USS Robert G. Bradley. He was a landing signal man, a rescue swimmer, and he worked in divisional damage control. You all know Petty Officer Gunkel as the man who keeps the physical plant of this building, St. Henry's, running every day. He fixes things we don't even know are broken. For his military service and for his dedication here at St. Emmons. Please stand up, students, and show Brother Gunkel your appreciation.
kids call him Mr. VD. Is it okay if I do that too, Captain? Captain VD? Sure. Like a kid. Uh, the captain here served in the Air Force from 1984 to 1995. This station has included Wright Patterson Air Force Base in Ohio and Kirkland in New Mexico. You know, when we think of the military, many of us think about the movies we've seen uh, and videos showing Navy SEALs or Army Rangers or Green Berets or fighter pilots. But did you know the Air Force, as well as the other branches, have over 130 career opportunities, including engineering, construction, doctors, lawyers, nurses, uh, law enforcement, research and development, and yes, even mathematicians and scientists, which brings us to Captain VB. His specialty area in the Air Force was instrumentation research. Captain, would you mind reciting, reenacting, this doesn't mean you're re up, but re, uh, reenacting your oath from your swearing in ceremony? Okay, so what's, what's printed in your program is that the oath of office for enlistment. What's printed here for me to read is the oath of, oath of office for officers. And I'll go ahead and read that. Um, I, Mark Von Boker, having been appointed a captain in the United States Air Force, do solemnly swear that I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies, foreign and domestic, that I bear true faith and allegiance to the same, that I take this obligation freely without any mental reservation or purpose of the evasion, and that I will well and faithfully discharge the duties of the office upon which I'm about to enter. So help me God. I'm just curious, Captain, when you took that oath, or as you re read it now, what's it mean to you? Uh, either then or now. What's it mean to you when you read that <laughs> I'm a handy guy, you know. <laughs> Go ahead. Well, first of all, I notice that there's no expiration date. That's it doesn't say until such and such a date, which kind of means I'm still under orders <laughs> to protect the Constitution of the United States. In my opinion, says, so help me God. Okay, God is the key to being a good officer, to being a good enlisted, enlisted person. You've got to have faith. And I'm so glad, so help me God is part of this oath. That's number two. Number three, it doesn't say any particular president. You know, back in the Roman days, when, when a military person took an oath, it was usually to a particular Roman general and to a particular campaign. Okay, this oath is above that. This is not to Congress. This is not to the President. You're protecting the Constitution. So you're not, you're kind of, you know, relying on your morals yes, as to what is the right thing to do. And then, I think I had a fourth point, but in the military they teach you always have three points, so I don't have a fourth point for you. But <laughs> I'm sure it's uh, I'm sure that I'll go off script here. St. Henry considers itself college preparatory, college preparatory high school. However, I would encourage anybody interested in military service to not just rule that out out of hand. It's a great opportunity for all of those careers that Mr. Payne mentioned. Thank you.
song for the United States Air Force. The lyrics and music were written in 1938 by Robert MacArthur Crawford. If your mother or father or any family member served the United States Air Force, please show them honor by standing on their behalf. Air Force men, stand up! seizes almost 500 pounds of drugs 
and investigates six vegetal casualties. Separate Paradise was composed in 1927 by Captain Francis Van Bosker. It is the official march of the U.S. Coast Guard. If your mother, father, or any other family member has served in the United States Coast Guard, please stand on their behalf as we play their song, Separate Paradise. Coast Guard vets, stand up.
Santa Ana District High School has uh, a number of recent grads who, well, have either served very recently or are still on active duty. And at this time, Aaron, would you please come up? Oh, here you go. Would you please come up and call the roll? Hold these people in your prayers, please. Hold these people in your prayers. Andy Wilkerson, 2012. Stephen Myhouse, 2006. Donnie Myhouse, 2002. Dan Carroll, 2009. Juan Correa, 2003. Lucas Beller, 2010. Tony Bell, 2006. Joe Snyder, 2000. Mike Wolf, 2003. Jacob Bessler, 2009. Louis Taberkey, 2010. Becca Smith, 2010. Rebecca Fryhofer, 2010. Brendan Bully, 2012. Billy Taberkey, 2012. Ben Bessler, 2012. Jeremy Conley, 2010. David Pope, 2017. Greg Olian, 2003. Josh Sheridan, 2012. Jerry Whittle, 1972. Nathan Fryhofer, 2015. Sean Robinson, 2010. Rachel Fortner, 2013. Aaron Fortner, 2010. Austin Dumas, 2013. AJ White, 2017. Andrew Harmon, 2014. Eric Hubox, 2011. Please hold those people prayerfully in your heart. Before we go on to the next, um, my favorite part of our Veterans Day program, Mr. Jay Brow, I just saw him in the hallway. Maybe he'll, you know, he's helping us on your ways. Mr. Jay Brow and his students have for a number of years done extraordinary things over and over again to recognize our veterans and to remember our veterans on Veterans Day. The band, yes, carries the heavy load for this today, but Mr. Brow and his students helped us in so many ways, like too many to mention. Please give Mr. Brow and his students a huge thank you. mom or dad, uncle or aunt, any family member who's active duty, military right now, come on down. We're going to pray for them. That goes for our veterans and our, our guests too. If you have any family members right now who are active duty in the military right now, come on down.
Deacon. Is it okay if there are those persons who would like to come down and pray with these people that are in that Sure. Is that okay? That is okay? You'd like to come down and pray with some of these people for their loved ones who are active duty. I'm talking to adults and students. You guys are adults too. You're welcome to come on down and lay your hands on these folks. Faculty, help us please.
We'll take over and he's in charge of this missile. Okay? The Star Spangled Banner was written by Sir Francis Scott Key in 1814. The lyrics were inspired by the Battle of Baltimore during the War of 1812. The banner was recognized for official use by the United States Navy in 1889 and by U.S. President Woodrow Wilson in 1916. It became the National Anthem by Congress Resolution, Congressional Resolution on March 3, 1931. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the National Anthem.